Hi friends, so this is your friend Arun from Live in Germany channel. So what are the top updates or changes happening in the month of June that is going to impact all our lives from now on? So I have like six updates for today. This is something for everyone. So please do watch this till the end. So before I jump in, if you're looking for any of these services like loans, insurance, feel free to book an appointment and discuss this in detail with me personally. So now to the first update, which we have all been waiting so long for is the citizenship act or the new citizenship law is going to come in place starting from june 27th onwards so this is a very key update a lot of people have been waiting so once this is in place you can get your citizenships instead of eight years in five years time and sometimes even in three years if you satisfy the special integration measures i hope this is very happy news for all please put in comment how you feel so second update is for football lovers the european championship is going to start on june 14th this month so please put in comment whom do you think will be the champions of this year the first match is happening in munich in germany don't miss to watch it so the next update is for those who want to come to germany the opportunity card which is a point based system which is going to come into place starting from june 1st onwards so this is also something a lot of people has been waiting for so there are criteria like how good is your german what's your english level whether you have a university degree or vocational training so based on different criteria you get different points and if you satisfy the points you can come to germany very easily so those who are already in germany put in comment what do you think that these changes will bring bring to the job market to us Will it make it more competitive or how do you think it's going to happen? So we all know that there is already an existing system like Apple Pay and other payment system. But Europe also bring, wants to bring something into picture. European wide system as a competitor. This is called Vero and this is going to be also active from June onwards. So if you are somebody who is doing a lot of transactions and somebody who is like digital all days. This is something you have to look forward into. And if you are a train traveler, the next update is for you. So that is this Bahn card, which we all know about like 25, 50, which we used to can uh, buy discounts, for example. So this is no more in the form of plastic cards available. We have to go digital from June, June onwards. So you have to make sure that you have the app and using the app, you can always make use of the discounts further. So if you have a plastic card, hold to it. Maybe we are the last ones to get such a card and not anymore in future. So the last update is I have for those who are having TVs at home. So until now, the landlords were giving you the cable TV and you will be able to you know, watch it and all these costs are included in the utility or the ancillary cost. But starting of June uh, end or the July 1st onwards, we have to decide how do we want to watch it further. So if you don't make individual contracts, I'm talking about almost 12 million tenants. So 12 million tenants have to choose how they want to watch TV by end of June. Otherwise on July 1st, all you will see is a black screen. So I hope all these updates, which I told very shortly are informative. Please put in comment what you think and please do share this with your friend. Thank you and bye bye.